Okay, gentlemen, 113 Pagodas, hard top headliner. 230, 250, 280, all the same. Uh, the classic Pagoda hard top. Uh, the original uh, uh, vinyl was a very thin, lightweight vinyl. This is a, a very good reproduction we bring from Germany. You can see it has the perforations. It's the off-white color and it has a slight grain. It's very lightweight. It's important. You cannot make headliners in cars than in full weight vinyl. We're looking at our CAD file from our Gerber cutting machine. It's been digitally made here on our digitizing table and uh, we're going to be cutting this but I want to first explain how what you're about to see. The orange lines here are pencil lines. The pencil lines are what we call cray lines and uh, they're put on uh, the back of this material so that the sewers can get the, ex the listings in exactly the right place. It, it uh, obviously with the advantage of the machine is that it's absolutely accurate top stitch. The reinforcing pieces are here, the side listings. The first stage is for us to pencil on the cray lines and the, the little green dots you see there are notch marks that allows the sewer to line them up on the main piece here. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna wet the back of the material so it loops the pencil and make sure that it works, uh, the pencil works well. And then the next step is gonna be the notching. We'll look at the machine here. Well, Alex is going to spray. We actually use a um, bottled water so there's no staining of the material. We'll look at the machine here. We have a pencil. We want a soft lead pencil. We use the carpenter's pencil here. So the machine's going to cut that. Once we've done the notching and the pencil work, we will then cut the outside in a separate stage. So there'll be a pause between these cuts. So um, looking at the cutting wheel, which is an ultra knife blade and then below with a notcher, that's the brown thing. It's like a chisel, it's very sharp. It's about um, six millimeters wide and it just hammers down and cuts a little lineup mark in the material. So we're good to go here. We're gonna turn on the vacuum for what it's worth. So obviously with the, um, with the uh, perforated headliner, it doesn't work as well. So we've used some tape in addition and uh, it's all ready to go. So see the first of the listing lines being thrown on. As I said, the great advantage is that the sewer can sew right on this line and know that it's absolutely dead straight. Imagine trying to do this by hand, very difficult. It's even got even marking the spot where the reinforcing goes. Notch. That's the four notches we spoke about. So that's the first stage. We're gonna pause it there, cover it with plastic, and then we'll do the outside cut. Part two, we're gonna put the vacuum on. You see the plastic sucks down. Now we've got a good seal it's holding this in place, ready for the cut. It's already set up for the cut, so press the button. Now the blade is gonna cut. You can see as it uh, cuts here, you can see it plot in. And uh, that line becomes bold once it's finished. You can see there's an, another list in here that's part of the cut. See it become bold, we know that it's fully cut. It's moving around, there's a technical reason for that. In, in full production, you wouldn't want that. It slows things down, but for the quantities that we cut, it's not a big deal. Go back to the machine. I've had this machine many years and it never fails to put a smile on my face. I love this machine. If any of you guys are in business, you'll know what I mean. This thing never complains, never asks for breaks, never, uh, never causes me any headaches. It's a beautiful thing.
there we go. We'll uh, look at this now. Get the plastic taken off. We'll lift it out. And there we have it. Headliner. That's the main section. We'll grab the sections over here. Just got the uh, reinforcers at the top over there. And we have that. There's the rectangle. And then finally the uh, four pieces up there. And uh, you can see just how well that worked. And the others, the small ones there. Okay, so small ones here are the reinforcings and you can see how they fit just like that. So, and of course that really helps the sole because now it's all cut accurately and uh, guaranteed to fit. Okay, 113 Pagoda hardtop headliner, now fully sewn. Um, you can see uh, the listings, the reinforcings sewn here and the, and the webbing that's sewn just as original second piece sewn on. This uh, rectangle is supplied for the other covers within the car and you can see the uh, perfect top stitch in, in here so the sewer can follow the lines and uh, hit the marks and uh, that's how they turn out.